that is really true. We are so used to listen to all these advices all around us. But now it's time that we trust our inner guidance. You know for yourself. So please listen to your heart. Connect to your heart. And then just step one step forward toward your heart desires. You so deserve to be happy. Just choose that. Choose your heart path a little bit more today. Hello, my beloved. How are you doing today? Are you totally enjoying who you are? Are you blossoming from inside out? Are you truly connected to your heart? Today is really your day that you can shine a little bit brighter, that you can show your true colors a little bit more, that you are happy. Can you choose a little bit more happiness today? Can you choose that you are who you are? and that you spread this joy, this love, this happiness all around you. You are a powerful creator. And now use your power that you can shine to the world, that you can be this magic that you have inside. Just connect more to your heart. I hope that you have your coffee ready because we are going to ask the question for this week. And the question is, how can we stay more connected to our hearts? <laughs> we are going to start with our How to Pamper Yourself cards by Cherry Richardson. So, question is, how can we stay connected to our heart? Or how can we connect to our heart a little bit more? It's that one. Oh, I feel it. Oh, it's action. Really, how can we stay connected that we go in action? Action. There are beautiful stairs up. Just do something. The trip, the journey, when you are going to find your lost self, it's beginning with only one step forward. Just, just, just step forward. So, do something. Be in action. Journey that you are going to find your lost self. It's going to begin with only one step forward. So action and step forward today. When you are stepping forward, let your heart be your guide. Let your heart really tell you, whisper you. Just listen to it and follow that path. Just go one step forward toward your heart desires. And now we have our Usho Zen Tarot cards. And always good advice. Live, love, and celebrate. And the question for this week is, how can we stay connected to our heart? Or how can we connect to our heart a little bit more? Oh, that was fast today. Wow, it's guidance. What a beautiful colors of rainbow. Can you see them? There are such a beautiful colors. All these fire colors. And there is such a beautiful, like angel-like creature. <laughs> No, it is angel and it has all these fires on here. All this color of fire. <laughs> Let me just read it to you. Guidance. You have to find your inner guidance because you don't know that your inner guidance is hidden inside of you. You have to find your inner guidance 
that what we are calling your witness we are calling that your dharma and that is your buddha that was already born in you that was born with you you have to awake this inner buddha and your life it's going to put to you all these blessings all this uh, glory all this grace your life it's going to be so shiny of all this good of all this divinity that you can't even imagine it's almost like the light your room is dark so just put some light in it even a tiny little candle with would be enough that the darkness will disappear and when you are going to have candles sometime in the future you are going to see where are the doors you don't have to think about where the hell where are these doors just blind men are thinking where are the doors the people who see and they have light they don't think about it have you thought about it where are the doors no you just get up stand up and you just go out you don't give only even a little tiny thought about it where are the doors so don't start to search for the doors and uh, just crashing your head to the wall just see and don't let any kind of doubt go into your mind just go out just find where are the doors this beautiful angel figure with all these beautiful rainbow uh, wings on this card is representing your guidance that everyone has inside of us when the second figure in the background we can delay a little bit we are not determined that we should trust this guidance because it is about us because we are so strongly used to accept all the rules from the outside world instead that we should totally listen to our inner world but the truth of your inner, the deepest being, is just trying to show you that right now, in this moment, and especially, especially when this card appears, it means that you can trust your inner guidance. He is talking. Or she is talking with whispers and sometimes sometimes we can delay a little bit we are not determined because we don't know if we understood right but we have clear instructions when you are going to follow your inner guide you are going to feel more whole like you would just go out of the center of your true being and if you allow if you surrender to this guidance this ray is going to bring you exactly where you need to be 
that was so beautiful. That is really true. We are so used to listen to all these advices all around us. But now it's time that we trust our inner guidance. You know for yourself. So please listen to your heart. Connect to your heart. And then just step one step forward toward your heart desires. You so deserve to be happy. Just choose that. Choose your heart path a little bit more today. But now it's coffee time. Tim. <laughs> Tim, Tim. Now we have our cards. Money and the law of attraction by Esther and Jerry Hicks. That are the teachings of Abraham. And let me just ask the question for this week. How can we connect to our heart a little bit more? Or how can we connect really to our heart? That one, it's that one green one. I am going to show you at first. So, and then let me just read it. The story that I tell is the foundation of my life. The story that I tell is a foundation of my life. There is not right or wrong telling your improved story. You can tell it about past, about future, about now. The only measure that is important is that you are aware of intention, that you want to tell a little bit better, a little bit nicer story of your life. And if you are going to tell through the day a lot of nice, uh, pleasant, short stories, you are going to change your point of attraction just remember that the story that you are telling is the foundation of your life of your life so just tell the story that you wanted it to be wow that was so beautiful that was amazing just tell short stories about what you really want and appreciate what you already have now we have our cards healing with angels by Doran Virtue. We are going to ask how can we connect to our heart a little bit more this week? Is that one already? Let me see it. I feel it strongly. Oh, it's blessing. Can you see this beautiful angel here? And we have blessings. But I have a surprise for you. <laughs> we have another card. Wow, such a beautiful card. Oh, it's meditation. I love that. So we have blessings and we have meditation for this week. Let me read both of them to you. Blessing. God and angels are right now helping you because you have to ask them for help first and when this help comes just accept it and the help or help is always coming angels wants to tell you angels want to tell you that you are right now experiencing extra blessing maybe you have in shorten time been challenged with with some kind of challenges or you have asked for extra power for extra help in both these cases angels are just being around you with a lot of divine love like never before with you are special extra angels that are just giving you all this special love and light 
Maybe you have sometimes feeling that the God and angels are letting you. But this card is a reminder that they didn't go anywhere and that they cannot leave you. You cannot see your angels or hear them because we are afraid of their presence. But your angels can take away this fear if you are going to ask them and if you are going to let them. You are truly blessed and you are truly loved because God and angels love you so much. That is so beautiful. That is so amazing. I'm so happy. That makes me so happy. Thank you, thank you, thank you for this beautiful answer. And now we have meditation. Right now is meditation very important for you. Just enjoy it and use it often. Be often in meditation state. When you have mind in peace, you can hear angels more clearly and they are asking you with this card that you are just calming down your mind because your communication with angels then only can be clear and loud. At the start, just every morning, spend at least five minutes with closed eyes and just listen to your deep breathing. Ask angels question and then listen carefully, like you would listen to your good friend. Don't push your heart that you should hear something. If you are going to search too much the answer, it will slip away. But instead, just continue with breathing, just deeply inhale, exhale, exhale and then totally relax. Just tell yourself how totally and completely natural it is that you are talking with your angels and that is really your everyday experience. The more that you are going to calm your mind, the more you are going to hear the answer. I am so pleased with our answers. So please do meditate. Please do connect to your angels. You are loved. You are accepted. And your angels are now all around you. God is all around you. You are safe. Just listen to them and ask them questions and then just hear a the answer that comes to you easily. And now we have our last cards getting into the vortex and that are cards by Esther and Jerry Hicks. That are the teachings of Abraham. We are going to ask how can we connect to our heart a little bit more this week. vibrational being, vibrationally emanating desires. I am a vibrational being, vibrationally emanating desires. You live an, in a vibrational universe that is managed by the law of attraction. The law of attraction is bringing vibration that are alive together. And so it is important for you to acknowledge that you are vibrational beings, constantly emanating vibrational signs of desire, 
and when from your human form you offer a vibration of what you want because you know what you don't want so you know what you do want you cannot contemplate any subject without equal components of wanted and unwanted appearing vibrationally in your experience i am vibrational being vibrationally emanating desires so my loves listen to your heart follow your bliss as joseph campbell said and really do more of what makes you happy and follow your heart a little bit more and listen to it have a lovely beautiful amazing day bye